Hello everybody, welcome to DrinkNectar.com. I'm your host, Josh Wade, and this is the internet's place to explore Pinot, Pinot, Pinot Noir. We are having a smackdown, showdown, throwdown on Twitter. Thanks to some great buds, Wine Tonight, Ed Thralls, uh, Joe Herrig of Suburban Wino, and uh, Tamara Belgard of Sip With Me, the West Coast Correspondent. Uh, we've had a flurry of activity just from preliminary results. Hundreds, like close to three, 400 people uh, tweeting two, over 2,000 times about Pinot Noir. Uh, we're going to do this in a few different stages. and going to cut some different clips in, show you some different uh, pieces of the wine. On the uh, end is a Duck Pond. Uh, 2008 Pinot Noir. This one clocks in at the least amount of the price point, and I'll give everybody the details in the notes. Um, a lot of uh, kind of a restrained perfume and earth and funk in there. Um, has a great uh, minerality that has to come through as well. You know, when I was drinking this during the actual tasting, I was amazed at the value of this wine, $20.00. You do not find a well-structured Pinot with some great acidity and a lasting flavor at this price point. I could buy this all day long. Next, we're moving up to Mendocino County, uh, Mendocino Ridge. This is a Tom Eddy. I believe this one was $55 uh, down in California. Obviously, Tom Eddy known for their high-quality cabs. Uh, a lot more candy um, flavors on this one, a little bit candy and some cinnamon aromas coming through. Still have that earthy funk, which I like. Um, starting to fall more in love with Pinot the more I've had a uh, taste of different quality ranges. If you uh, follow me at all, you know that I haven't been a huge Pinot Noir fan. Don't hold it against me, but let's give this one a sip. Amazing structure on this one. Super elegant. Uh, elegance in a glass comes to mind. Um, it's got a great back end. Uh, finish not quite velvety. It has a little bit of tartness, um, you know, some cranberry tartness in the back. I can picture this pairing with a number of foods across the board, which is what makes Pinot Noir so special to a lot of people. And the third wine is our first of two from Selena Estates. This is their Domaine Danielle Laurent um, 2007 Pinot Noir. These guys are yams. Give it a <sighs> All right. Mushroom, uh, earth, dirt on this one. Way different than any of the other ones. Um, this would be one of those ones that, uh, if sharing it with some people, they'd be really turned off by the funk and the earth and the mushroom in the nose. A lot of vegetal components in there, but let's give it a sip. So less candied cherries on this one that you're going to get in some of the other pinot, pinots that you uh, might have uh, experience with, but it really showcases the layered fruit that you can come out of... Um, this is 2007, which to me, you know, I haven't had a lot of great experience with 2007 vintage, um, but of the 2007s I've had, this kind of pairs in well with what's happened. A little thinner in fruit, um, some of that earth and that funk was a tough growing season in Oregon that year. The fourth wine is our second one from Selena Estates. This is their 2008. This is out of McMinnville. They call this one their uh, Highland Vineyards. And before I even got my nose to the glass, I could smell what was coming out of it. But let's give it a sniff. All right, you're already getting some of those traditional characteristics of the, of the candied cola in there. Some little bit of cinnamon, um, some spicy, some nutmeg aromas that are coming through on there. Let's give it a sip. Back to what I was expecting, what I'm starting to love about well-made pinots. You know, that elegant vanilla fruit. Vanilla fruit, excuse me, that elegant vanilla as it goes down the mouth, that all the strawberry and cherry components start to come out, and those spices uh, actually has a good back end structure to it. You know, the tannin that's there, um, fantastic wine. Um, my favorite, if I could say, of the two Salida Estates wines. Our next two are from uh, Joe Wagner, winemaker Joe Pino, and this is the uh, Miomi, Bella Gloss Miomi. It's a screw cap, 2000 Sonoma County. So let's give it a sniff. A little bit of earth. Uh, there's a little bit of that um, green pepper, bell pepper um, aroma in there. Not quite. I think it's still a little chilled. Um, not quite as vibrant of fruit as I remember it being last night. But let's give it a sip. Okay, this is exactly what I remember from last night. Um, the fruit is just a wash. It's actually the biggest mouth coating feel of the first five that we've had where the fruit just surrounds your tongue and gives it a hug. It says hello in there, I love you. Um, and it's just kind of strawberry uh, flavor in there. And then just hints of cranberry at the end, kind of that tartness, but not quite as tart as some of the others that we've had. Um, 
loving the extra um, baking spices that you have in there. And you've got lots of different layers for $25. Um, super value. Last but not least, we've got the Bella Gloss uh, Las Aturas Vineyards. Obviously heavily waxed, beautiful presentation in the bottle. Also from uh, winemaker Joe Wagner. Let's give it a sniff. <clears throat> um, already getting the hints that I knew I would get from the previous tasting, um, and that's that uh, baked cherry pie. Um, all of those components are coming through in there. Uh, can't wait to <laughs> wrap my lips around this Pinot. That's a Pinot and Tendre for you. <laughs> By far, I say this on camera, the best Pinot Noir I have ever had. Um, also is, for me, <laughs> these six Pinot represent about six of the 20 that I've had in my history of, you know, reviewing wines. So not an expert by far, by any means. But what, what I can use this for, this wine is, is now my baseline of which I will judge all other Pinot Noirs by. Um, huge standards, Joe Wagner, um, big props to you on this wine. I love it, love it, love it. Um, we're going to move this on. <laughs> We'll see how this fares tomorrow on the challenge with uh, about eight to nine different people in here. The blind tasting um, will stay tuned.